The countdown has begun. The 83rd Academy Awards is just about four weeks away. And what can we expect from this year's show? We have the answers in tonight's breakdown. With co-stars Anne Hathaway and James Franco, industry insider Elizabeth Sneed says the Academy Awards seem to be heading towards a youth movement. They are trying to bring in younger viewers, and that's smart. I think the Academy picked James and Anne because they are both dancers, both singers. They have both hosted Saturday Night Live. Um, they're lively, they're young, they're fresh, they're in the news. Both have varied and impressive acting resumes. 28-year-old Anne first gained fame from The Princess Diaries, showed her dramatic side in Brokeback Mountain, and earned a Best Actress nomination for Rachel Getting Married. I expect that Anne Hathaway is going to be making quite a few gown changes during the entire Oscar show. You know, her stylist is Rachel Zoe, and she's been approached by so many designers now who are all really anxious to dress her. 32-year-old James has done everything from Spider-Man to appearing on the ABC daytime soap General Hospital. Of course, he is a Best Actor nominee this year for 127 hours. He does things that are unpredictable, but I think that's probably why they picked him. It all unfolds Sunday, February 27th on ABC. If tradition holds true, last year's Best Actress winner Sandra Bullock will present this year's Best Actor Oscar. Expect her to lead the whole couture parade of red carpet glamour. I think Sandra Bullock's going to look great this year. You know, it's her big comeback year. Natalie Portman is an interesting person to look at. She is pregnant, and that's going to play a big part in what dress she picks. She's going to want to be comfortable. But will nominee Helena Bonham Carter don an offbeat outfit to the Oscars like she did to the Globes? I don't think she's going to tone it down for the Academy Awards. She did wear Vivian Westwood. She may pick Vivian again, but maybe a slightly classier looking gown. Gwyneth Paltrow was not nominated for Country Strong, but could she sing the film's song, Coming Home, which is up for an award? I know she's going to be singing at, at the Grammys the same song, so let's hope she does it again. Oh, I cannot wait to see all the stars on this year's red carpet. And you can check out the best and worst fashions from Oscars past by going to etonline.com.